Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you about our new feature known as SiteBot. This is basically a chat bot for your website that doesn't rely on Facebook and you can create directly from your back office apps. So we're going to create a new flow here. This is where you'll see the first opening menu and then you just click create a new flow if you do not have any. Just name it a simple name. And then here you'll be able to edit the name get the embed code and as well delete it. And then we'll click on the name to start editing. So you're going to have a welcome message here. It, it has to be this opening message to ignite the flow. And then you can say something like, how are you today? And then the response would be hi or good or great or something like that. We'll just do with good. And then we're going to create another message, which is going to be the first message that requires a direct response. We'll do a text answer. And it's going to be, may I have your name? This is going to just collect the name and it's going to use a tag system as well, which is really great because it'll help you be personal with the clients rather than have like a robot system. The next would be another message that is a text answer. However, instead of a text answer, we're going to choose email so that the email can ignite another bonus feature of the, the site bot here, which is going to be adding people to your mailing list in Mailing Boss. So if I do the email feature here, I will type the message like this. Thanks. And then you can click this button here to add the tag username. So it will instead filter the name that they have given on this response in replacement of this tag. Thanks, person's name. May I also have your email so I can send you goodies. And then you're going to put the email tag that you would like, we'll just stick with this one. And we'll click this e mailing boss integration check here, and then you get to select the list. Now, when they enter their email in this this uh, message here, it'll automatically add them to the mailing boss list of your choice. So, one thing to note here is the way I have this set up right now is that none of these are going to be in a flow because they're not connected. To connect them, all you have to do is make sure that this is highlighted green, and then connect the line. And now they are they are connected like so. So so far we've said hello, we've got their name, we've got their email. The next thing we can do is ask them what their intentions are, what they're here for. So we can do a button field, and this button field we're going to ask them what would they like to do? What are you interested in? And we can have multiple choices here. The first button will we'll just make it say affiliate marketing. The second button we can say site building. And the third button we can say email marketing. All of these are predominant features on Builderall. So we connect this to the last message. And now, once they enter this, they will go to the final one that we'll do, which is going to be another button. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and create a bigger window. I did that by using the scroll on my mouse to make the window a little bigger. And then on this button here, the question will say, Great. That's awesome. Insert username here exclamation point click this button if you would like a seven day free trial for builder all so this could be where you're going to put your affiliate link so on the button instead of step you click link I'm just gonna have the button say sign up and then this link, I'm just going to use the default seven days trial link. 
but it could be your actual affiliate link. You just go to your affiliate funnels under Builder All Business and paste the seven days link or whichever link you would like here. And then when they click this button, they'll be taken directly to your sign up page to be affiliated to you so that you can get the commission and get the lead for that. And also you can link all three of these buttons to the same response so that no matter which one of these they click, they'll be able to sign up for the free trial. So this is a general overview and a general flow basically to get an idea of how it's going to go. If you highlight one of the lines, you can delete it with this garbage can as well. And that's just to delete the link. There are a couple of other fields here as well. Phone number field, you'd use that if you're using the SMS. The text message field, um, I can add one of those really quick. And it's kind of like a closing message. Thank you, username, for visiting my site. And then you just connect it again. But wait, have you noticed that the end of this, there is no way to link because this is going to be the end of the flow. So this message will not be able to be linked to anything other than one of these. So if we go back to one of these and we add a second button or another button, and this button will say, I'm not interested, then we can connect this button to this message as an alternative. And then they will just stop the flow right then. Or they could continue it again with something else if you would like to continue this to a different type of result. But the main result would be to get them to go to your affiliate link. Okay, so now that we've gotten through this, we can test the flow and see what it looks like. I'll click the preview here. So we're going to just practice with it and see what it's like when it talks to me. Save changes, preview, here we go. So how are you today? I'm good. May I have your name? I'll put my name here and it's going to load. Thanks, Johnny. May I also have your email? So you can see that it, it referred to me directly by name, which is a really cool feature. I enter my email. And then it says, what am I interested in? So we'll test this twice to show you what it would be like. I'll click site building. Great, that's awesome, Johnny. Click this button if you like a seven day free trial. If I click sign up, it gives me the link. And then I would click this link and it would take me to the website. I will reload it now and we can try it a second time to go through and show you what that other option would be like. This time I'll be Bob. It doesn't have to be a real email for this test. I'm just going to do this as a test. And I'll say, I'm not interested. Thanks for, thank you, Bob, for visiting my site. So that's basically how this flow would work. If I go back to the flow builder now, I can get the embed code. We'll keep this here. I'll go back to my website and I can show you how it would look like when you apply it to your website. Okay, now on this window, you're going to go to the apps here and go to the add HTML. And here we're just going to expand it to make sure there's plenty of room. I right click and go to edit, delete this filler text here, go back to the site bot, and then I will just copy this code or I can click this button over here. When I go and paste it in here, we confirm. We already can see that it has been applied. 
And now that it is here, all you have to do is put this where you want. A lot of people would, I would recommend doing, if you right click, you can pin the element and you can do a manual pin. And it'll be pinned here when you view the live site. So if I go to preview, no matter where I go on the website, it's just going to stay here. All right, so that's basically our general overview of the SiteBot. I hope you guys find this tool useful. And of course, if you guys have any other questions, you may contact support and refer to any of the other tutorials we have. Have a wonderful day.